but today is a very big day. So I got a phone call yesterday from the psychiatrist I've been trying to get to for months. Good morning, internet friends. How are we doing today? I'm doing eh, for various reasons. Okay, but first off, I know what you're thinking. Holy cow, Raven, you are back to vlogging and I'm covering the camera with my hand. <gasps> <laughs> uh, kinda, yeah. I'm trying to get back into daily vlogging. I'm sorry, guys. Really, I'm sorry. I don't know why you guys keep putting up with me and my lack of videos. And I've even got new subscribers, and I'm like, I'm probably a disappointment to you guys, but okay, whatever. Um, so, right now, I am waiting for my dad and my brother. We're going to Kumo, which is like a hibachi type of restaurant. It's really good. I love it. But today is a very big day. So, I got a phone call yesterday from the psychiatrist I've been trying to get to for months, and I have an appointment for today. So, woohoo! So excited. Um, I'm really looking forward to it, hoping that they could be able to help and, you know, could get meds adjusted and stuff because feeling this way, how I've been for months now, has sucked and it's really affecting my life. So anything to help would be great. And of course, I've gotten anxiety from it because, um, I had a bad dream last night involving thinking I was late for work and late for the appointment and just everything going on and my brain thought it was real. And then once I woke up, I was like, uh, one, you have work on Friday. Two, you don't have work on Friday because I took this weekend off for AWOL. Uh, three, this is early in the morning. So I'm like, ah, oh yeah, check out this ring. I don't know if you see it too well. There it is. I got it from a bath bomb. Amazing. Um, so yeah. I have that at three today, which I'm really excited about. I'm nervous about it too, but I'm excited. And then later tonight, I'm supposed to be going with my one of my friends. We're taking our pups to the dog park. Um, I'm kind of nervous about how Emerald will react. I mean, he's been weird about dogs his own size lately, and they both have to be in the same car. So I don't know how that, unless I just have Emerald in the front seat and my friend and his dog in the back seat. That might be what have to happen. Um, and this dog hasn't really been socialized, so I don't know. If it doesn't work out before we even leave, I'm not going to do it. So, yeah. So, I'll let you guys know how that goes today, and I'll check back in with you later. Thank <laughs> you. 
So there's my boys. They're so sweet. And there's my beautiful baby girl. Hi, baby. So, I have already been to the psychiatrist. This is like late at night and I forgot to tell you guys about it. And also, Emerald went to the dog park and I'll explain that too. Hi, baby. I love you. Even with your death breath. Because your breath is so gross. Hi, baby girl. Yeah, I had Taco Bell. It's not for you. No, it's not. It's not for you, baby. So, how the psychiatrist went, it went great, actually. Even though I did freak out because I forgot to bring you my wallet, so I couldn't pay, I didn't have my ID, and I didn't have my insurance card. But I'm going to go back by there tomorrow and get all that sorted out. So, got that. Um, but... The psychiatrist was really cool about things. He, um, when he learned that I've had my blood drawn before for thyroid issues, he wants me to retest because he's suspecting that I have hypothyroidism. So I'm like, finally, there is a doctor who thinks I have this. Because he said that depression and hypothyroidism often coincide or are mistaken for one another. And I'm like, oh my gosh, yes. Hi. Hi, baby girl. He's also upping my Prozac to 60 milligrams instead of 40. I'm also going to be put on Wellbutrin. The last time I was on Wellbutrin, I was 14, and it didn't work for me. So it's probably going to work this time. Uh, he suggested taking fish oil capsules, so I may do that. Oh, sassy. Are you wanting me to pet you? Let me see if she'll do it again. Usually if she wants petting, she'll start, like, touching me with her foot. Yes. Are you wanting pets? Bye. You all right? Okay. Okay. Hi. My beautiful girl. So, um, yeah, like, he's very supportive, very nice, wonderful person. He made me feel really at ease. I feel better about the fact that basically I'm validated, which, I mean, I didn't think I'd be unvalidated, but since you guys know I've not really been getting a lot of support lately that um, I don't feel like I've asked much validation and now that I have a doctor saying yes there's a chance like there's a good chance you have that their computer systems were down so as soon as they can they're gonna let me know about when to get blood drawn and all that so I'm quite looking forward to it um so yeah there's how the psychiatry appointment went and then I went with my friend Jeffrey tonight and we took our dogs to the park. I took Emeril and he took his dog Freya, who's a boy, by the way. <laughs> what good boys! Emeril with his giraffe legs. He doesn't know what to do with them. Freya, who's that? Is that your friend? What you doing, Emerald? Is that your friend? Is that your best friend forever now? Hi, Bria. Hey, sweetie. Oh my God, he's gonna get such a sniffing from his brother when he gets home. Oh yeah, you know that. We were wondering, Freya has not really been socialized with other dogs, so I was worried about how he'd do. And since Emerald's kind of been weird about other dogs lately, I've been wondering how he would do. <gasps> Emerald, hey, come here. jerk face I love you jerk face but um yeah so we didn't know how the other would do and after a little initial like nervousness from Emerald because Freya is a much more energetic dog they turned out to be great friends they enjoyed playing with each other we spent like two hours at the park you wouldn't believe he spent two hours at the park by the way he's acting no you wouldn't expect it. Welcome to the Weimariner life. This is what happens. Excuse you, sir. That's my leg. That's mine. Yeah, mine. This is yours, though. You can have this. Do you want that? There you go. So, ow. You got a good claw mark down here, jerk. But yeah, he had a great time then. We went to Taco Bell, got dinner. I dropped off Jeffrey and Freya. And now we're home. Yay. 
Um, I actually need to get stuff worked on. I've got a few things to fix. And then i got to pack stuff for a while, and I just haven't yet. But, yeah. Today's been a pretty good day. Um, I'm really hopeful about the treatment plan that my psychiatrist has for me. He also basically confirmed that my anxiety and depression is completely biological, which I figured as much, because anxiety runs in my mother's side of the family. Um, and, you know, this is brain chemicals, which I've tried explaining to people, mainly family, <clears throat> what? And they just don't understand. But it's it's all in your head, kind of literally. Um, I also learned depression is an inflammatory disorder. It actually causes your brain to be kind of inflamed. I didn't know that. And, so, and apparently, a lot of metabolic disorders like obesity and hypothyroidism and diabetes, things like that, actually cause that. Actually, that's they kind of coincide together and cause inflammation. So, what do you know? And your gut also produces serotonin. I didn't know that. I knew, like, there's, like, immune defense in your gut as well as your immune system. But apparently, serotonin can be produced here and in your gut. So, learn something new every day. And, of course, he learned that I was a biology major in college. So, he kind of explained things to me, which, of course, I love learning new things. And I'm probably going to look all this up later. So, yeah. Um, I'm really looking forward to this new treatment plan. I really hope it helps because I'm so tired of this depression like taking a lot out of my life more than I expected it to. So I'm, I look forward to getting my life back and I, I have high hopes about it. But now I'm going to sign off for the night and head off to bed. So thank you guys so much for watching and for putting up with my absence on the interwebs. Um, I hope you've had a wonderful day or night, rain or shine, whatever the world has for you today. The question of the day is, tell me something good that happened today for you. So, for me, definitely would be the psychiatry appointment and then MRL making a new friend. So, put your answers down below and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye! And I'm going to try to vlog tomorrow, I promise! So, bye! Good night, Riddler! Good night, MRL! And good night, my sassy girl! And can you tell I'm a dog parent? Look at all these darn toys! I blame you.